you know what? You did. You did good. You did good, Paul. This good. is very good. Um, not as good as I don't know a lot of the opponents that the Bills will be facing this year, but mm. I'm still steadfast in my nine and seven predictions. Oh no! No, we gotta break this down. We the can people gotta down. know. We the people gotta down. know. People have been talking. People, in, I, I understand that. I think Trek Reviewer was definitely one of them. Uh, a couple other individuals. I'm sorry if I'm losing your name right now. It's quarantine. It's Groundhog Day. I just forget stuff. However, this is what happens. We made a video a long time ago where I, if people in the, the circle that we talked to of Bill's talk were Avengers. I named Paul Scarlet Witch. Simply because he brainwashes people. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I do trick them into seeing it my way. Oh my God. By the end of the conversation, everyone agrees with you and they're on the other side. Um, that being said. Uh, because of that, Paul has other attributes, which is he's very stubborn. Fact. So, and that's a good quality. However, he's bestowed that upon me. <laughs> and even though I said nine and seven, and even though I may feel a little bit differently about certain teams here and there, I got to stay by it. Now. That's it. I got it. I can't, I can't jump off the train. Now. Yep. Well, let's die on this hill. Yep. Well, <laughs> Mario says nine and seven to start a video. 46 dislikes. <laughs> That's 47 views, 46 days. Hey guys, if you were a member of Hashtag Nation, you're no longer are. All right, so I got to pull out the schedule because I don't know what this thing looks like. While he's doing that, all the new channel members that we have, um, I'll have the your name scrolling uh, below the screen. Ah, yeah, that's a good All touch. the Hall of Famers, 55-man roster, practice squad, pro bowlers, all pros. You guys are the absolute best. We were able to raise for May um, for the Punt Foundation $72. Okay, that's awesome. Yep. We had $50 for the month of April. We had $72 a month. That's May. that's so, killer. So you guys are doing phenomenal. We can't thank you enough. The Punt Foundation can't thank you enough. So thank you guys very much. <laughs> Opening game is the Jets. Yeah, hold on. I got it all saved here. <clears throat> Because I saved it on my phone because I knew we'd be doing this sooner or later. All right. Here we go. Okay. So, breaking down the schedule. This is so good. And I know, right? Jesus, are you breathing at all? I hear you talking, but is the straw in your mouth the whole time? I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's <sad>. What's up? <laughs> all right. Uh, starting up at home against the Jets. Win. Okay. 1-0 to start the season. Now, uh... now margin of victory here. What are we looking at? 21-17. Do I have to do scores for all of them? Because this could be fun. <laughs> what? It's 9 and 7. You're already wrong. Let's just keep going down the rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, I got a brain freeze! How, how can it be any worse? Let's just do... Son let's of do a biscuit. Records. I'm so... Dang it. You're too old to get a brain freeze, Mario. I'm too stupid to get a brain freeze. I was going to say, you got the right equipment for that? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Again! We're, we're going to get to an episode of this. Again! 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 <laughs> All right, so you're thinking 21-17 against the Jets. Yes. At home. Sure. Okay. Not, not, not many of these are well thought out, so go yeah, ahead. I, I don't think the Jets are going to score 17 points. Constructively, I don't think the Jets are going to score 17. I didn't say they score 21. Okay. I didn't say they score 21 or 17 of all offensively. Great. Nice touch. Special teams. <laughs> nice touch. Yeah. All right. Uh, you are away at the uh, away at Miami. Win. Okay. We're two and zero. Oh. Mm -hmm. Both division wins. Some about start. Miami doesn't matter who the regime is. Uh, even though they are loaded. I think they're loaded now. Yeah, uh, they're I still, really they're like still a year. They're still at least a year to two yeah, years apart away. They and that's have, if they, they don't have, fire their coach again. True. They do have talent. But with two different coaches, Allen's been able to torch them. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's the design 
if he just likes Miami or anything else, he just happens to have a lot of success against Miami. Yeah, it's the truth is Allen owns Miami the way that Belichick owns McDermott. Is that fair to say? We're gonna McDerm- fight. McDermott's never beat Belichick ever. There's a lot of people you can say that about though. We, Rex Ryan got hired because he beat Belichick a few times. Belichick owns Reed. Sure does. You could say that. Not yep. not McDermott yet. Okay. All right. Fine. Jerk. We got uh, home at the, our home against the Rams. Home at the Rams. Yeah, home at the Rams. Home versus home, the Rams. Home, home at the Rams. Mm. Yeah, mm. home at the Rams. Mm. <laughs> I I win. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a believer in Sean McVay. I think that system was great for a little bit with a rookie quarterback. He was calling all the audibles. There's no, either Todd Gurley less. I just at this think point. Like, yeah. I just don't. I don't see it anymore. For I just see bubblegum and band aids right yeah. now with that team. Oh, yeah. They're, they're in cap. Seller cap. Yeah. No first round picks until 2030. I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're 3 and 0. Oh. Yes. Okay, you realize if you do the math here, you said nine wins. Why are you always telling me about math? I'm off the clock. <laughs> I'm so I'm just curious how we get three wins to start, and yet there's only six wins left when you still have to play the Jets of Miami again. But all right, we'll get there. Uh, what was the score of this one? I don't think he did the score in Miami. I didn't. I'm okay. probably going to go with a um, 24-10 versus Miami. Okay. And I think for the L.A. game, I think it's going to be a 38-35 shootout with Bass hitting no field goal at the end. Oh, whoa. Woo. A lot, lot to unpack there, huh? Oh, man. A lot That's, to unpack. <laughs> there's a bit there. Yeah. That's a fact. All right. <laughs> Away, Vegas. Win. We're four and zero, Mario. Yep. Does, does does Vegas score any points against the Bills? They do. They do. I give them. I would give them. Uh, I'd say it's a twenty-eight, twenty-one. You are contest. giving. You are saying the Bills are scoring a lot of offensive points. They are. I'm. I. You know what? Just the presence of Diggs, the presence of Moss, the maturity of Knox, the maturity of everyone else that's been in this offense. The line having their second full year all together, that's, I can't, you can't underplay that enough, how no. important that is to the team. Right. Uh, the third year under Dable, Allen taking control and the reins of taking the rookies under their, you know, wing, under wing and everything. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to see and, it, and, it, and it's, expectations are really high right now. So that's, that's what happens around this time of year anyway. All right, so we get to the gauntlet now. Yep. So this is what you're waiting for. <laughs> okay. Giggity. Away at Tennessee. Loss. Okay. 10-7. Okay. I just feel that Tennessee is going to try to shorten that game after all the points Absolutely. the Bills have scored in their first four. That's Tennessee's yep. MO. Yep. Hey, Ryan Tannehill's their quarterback. Yep. Of course they have to shorten up the yep. game. Okay. Super Bowl champs at home. Loss. October 15th. Loss. Okay. But more competitive than a lot of people will think. All right. I think it would be a loss, but the outcome of that Kansas City game will be similar to the Cowboys game on Thanksgiving last year. People are going to be like, okay, these are the Bills now. Last right. year wasn't a fluke. This right. is, they came to play. So you think it's a statement game, but it's still it's a statement loss, I but think, it's still a statement game. I think just like last year when when they lost to when they lost to Baltimore last year, mm-hmm. it hurt. But yeah. Their fight and their that game. You really had to say fight against Baltimore. Why? Fight Baltimore. Fight. Who they fight in Baltimore? I don't know. Anyway, the way that they came back in the Baltimore game prepares them for that Kansas City game, the big time game, also the Thanksgiving Day game, all that stuff intertwined. But I still think they lose twenty eight twenty. I think there is something to be said of. You know, knowing that on that stage, you've done it before. I shouldn't have went this way. Why? Because I got a GoPro shed on my <laughs> <laughs> So they're 4-2 and two now. Yep. Jets. Away. Wrong. Boss, they're, they're splitting. <laughs> You're just doing the math. They're splitting with the Jets. <laughs> they're splitting with the Jets. Okay. They're not uh-huh. atrocious as everyone thinks. See, the mask of Adam Gase can, can camouflage a lot of things. They have talent that outweighs their coaching. 
They do. So you're just guessing Gase is fired by week four, no, by week no, five. No, week not six. by week five, not by week six. And I'm not saying that Joe Flacco's going to be the one to beat him either. <laughs> they have done themselves a service in this offseason as well, have acquired talent. Greg Williams is a manimal when it comes to defenses. He's already seen Allen yeah. before. I mean, so I think... I think that's a fair comparison because you're looking at a totally re- rebuilt wide receiver group in week yes. one. And then you're going to be looking at, what is this, four, five, six, week seven, yep. totally different. It, a week seven rookie is different than a week one rookie. That's the, just a fact. The thing, the, the lack of faith I have in Case, I have twice as much in, in Williams. Okay. So I think that'll be a, just a dogfight, but I think the Jets pull it out. Okay. Okay. So the four and three? Yep, four and three. Four at and home three. against the Patriots. Home versus the Patriots? Yep. Uh, loss. All right, we're four and four. What's the score? Oh, who's the starting quarterback? Ryan Hoyer. <laughs> if luck hasn't been signed by yet. <laughs> um, no, I could 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 Jared Stidham be there? I, I don't know. We'd have to talk with uh, DPN Ray, Deer Pats yep. Nation Ray. Yep. Awesome YouTuber. Definitely go uh, go go check him out. Even though he's a, he's a Pats fan, he's a very objective one. Yeah, he's um, a cool dude. Very cool. So, yeah, I just, I mean, you got a two-game slide. You went 4-0. You got a two-game slide. Then you lose to the Jets. Wheels are, people could feel that the wheels are starting to come off. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you, you come at home, and then this is that's ripe for the picking for Belichick. That's what he loves. Okay. So they're 4-4. and four. Okay. Next up, you are home for Seattle. Loss. I'm, I'm not a Seattle believer at this point. I really look at them the same as I look at the Rams. Really? They're just holding it together. Oh, yeah. There was talk about Seattle trading Russell Wilson. It was like legitimate talk. So they're they're close to saying, Wilson's to doing different. what Seattle does. He's a different guy, though. He's, that's why I gave them, you know, that's why I didn't have L.A. beat them. Right. Because of golf. Mm-hmm. I have Seattle beat them because of Wilson. Okay. Because of the textured, textured, layered, um, that's Everything a lot of hand that guy does. There. Everything that guy does, um, he always has an answer for you. Mm-hmm. So whatever you try to attack Wilson, he'll have an answer for you. Yeah, you don't see him get outmatched. No, right? He really thinks his way around a football field. You really, you can't give him something he can't handle at this point. Yeah. So they're four and five now. Five game skid. Well, I didn't, I didn't expect this. Uh, you are away for Arizona. When? What? <laughs> nothing, not, nothing better than getting back on the schneid <laughs> against Cliff Klingsbury. Hey, so it's going to win that division this year. They're what? Gonna win, they're going to win the division. No, now. they're not. You're yeah. out of your mind. <laughs> yeah, they'll win the division. They're going to win the division. They'll the win West. The division. They'll win the division. Arizona. Yeah. Walk me through who's in the division. Tell me how they're better than Arizona. San yeah. Francisco? Nope. Are you out of your mind? Listen. He went to the Super Bowl last year. <laughs> Listen. Right? The They... San Francisco cannot just keep finding running backs like that. I know it's all Shanahan did in Arizona. Can't just keep finding running backs. Oh, they're a Super Bowl representative from the NFC. They're not even going to win the division. No. No. <laughs> oh, you manimal. Sweet. All right. So I got a five and five. Okay. Uh, Chargers. Home. Yeah, that's a big dub. That's a dub. That's a big dub. That's a dub. That's a big dub. Interesting storyline of Tyra as a quarterback. Is it? It is. See, I think it's... I think it's Same thing as if Fitz comes back in. Okay. I, I just mean, think it's interesting. Well, Anthony Lynn and Tyrod together, you yes, mean? Yes, yes. It'd be more of a story if it were Cardell Jones. I think Ryan Roy is there. Did you not just say Cardell Jones? <laughs> just having fun. I'm dropping you off. <laughs> Six <clears throat> and five? Mine six and five? Yes, you yeah. are. Uh, speaking of Super Bowl, San Francisco away. Loss. Okay. You see, this, this is where we differ a little bit, right? Well, okay. Because you, you, picked, you picked the away at Tennessee to be a Bills loss. That's a team that's going to pound the rock. Yes. San Francisco, they're going to pound the rock, and you pick loss again. Are you saying the Bills don't know how to stop the run? I'm saying until they stop the run. That's my contention on this defense okay. with the philosophy. They're great at the pass. Had a little trouble against the run. Now, I mean, that lines the, up against last year for a bit. The addition of Butler 
the addition of Jefferson, the maturation of Oliver, the return of um, Harrison Phillips. Harrison Phillips. Really, the drafting of AJ uh, Epineza. The and the the reduced snap count and start. Let, so, let's be real. Yes. The reduced snap count for start. If all, all of it. that stuff intertwined, maybe you get AJ Klein in the mix. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Gra- uh, Josh Norman almost said it. Josh Norman just sniffing around the box. <laughs> this is an actual football term. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that you were staring at me the whole time. I looked over because I knew you were going to say something. I didn't say a thing. You just started laughing. <laughs> That's not saying anything. Okay, so where are we at? Six and six now? Yep. Six, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, yeah, we're at six and six. All right, so home for Pittsburgh. That's a win. They're winning. Uh, wait, yeah, that's a win. Okay. Dog fight. Does, does, is Big Ben even making it? No. No, no. Big Ben's done by you're, that point. You're, you're playing Mason Rudolph at that point. Again? <clears throat> oh, God. they got to stop doing that. they got to stop. Yeah. I, lo- I loved... I just... I love the fact that Duck Hodges was played up to be this... You know what? He's going to surprise you quarterback. And he... he no. Yeah. Nope. 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 All right. Seven and six. Seven and six. Broncos away. <clears throat> That's a win. Eight and six. Okay. Yeah. I just, you know, they're one of those teams that you say, like you compare to Miami, not there yet. Mm-hmm. I don't know how the conditions late in the year in Denver are going to affect Buffalo. I don't foresee it being a problem. Sure. Okay. The air there is a little thinner, yeah. as we know. But, um, well, and this game is still not to be determined. Um because it's on the 19th or the 20th. Yeah. So, yeah. we'll see where that plays out. Next game up, you have uh, at uh, Boxborough. Win. Mm-hmm. I feel that they will correct some things by that time. Patriots will be... Their wheels will have completely fallen off because as much magic as Belichick can create, he doesn't have <clears throat> you-know-who there. Mm-hmm. So, therefore... They're going to be, by that time, they're going to be out of the playoff race. They're going to be auditioning new guys for that team okay. for the following year for Belichick so he can retool and recharge. All right. He won't care at that point. If he knows he's out of it, he won't care. Hmm. Okay. All right, so we're, we're at 9-6. and six. Yeah, and they lose the finale to Miami. What is wrong with you? So, they, so... Very possibly, you're telling me, with your scenario, that the Miami game will hinge on whether or not they make the playoffs. At 9-6, and six, in this division... You think that wins the division? In, at 9-6, and six, when they beat the Patriots, okay, to go 9-6, and six, because of the gauntlet that every other AFC East team has to run, that same freaking gauntlet... Now, remember, the Patriots have to play the division winners of the, those, of, uh, the, NFC, the AFC North in the AFC West, or uh, AFC South. You know what I mean? So that's going to be that. The Miami will be out of it. The Jets will be out of it. The Buffalo Bills will be 9-6 and six in an, and two games ahead by the time they go to Miami. But they won't have to play. They've already won the division. And because they're 9-6, and six, they have no chance at a first-round bye. Rest you guys. Play to, play to other guys. You're going to go 9-7. and seven, You're walking into the playoffs. Your, your, your seat is secure. Well, you, I mean, you better win the division because with the way you laid it out, you only won five AFC games. So you, you're not getting a wild card only winning five AFC games. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to win the division. That's what I'm saying. This is nightmare fuel. Like, I will I will handle the comment section of this one, okay? Cool. Have know, at it. You need a day off. Have a, have a good time, everybody. You need a week Merry off. Merry Christmas. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get teed off. I'm going to get teed off on huh? Yeah, so go ahead and drop what your record prediction is in the comments. And then uh, some... Uh, well, there are going to be 11 and 5s and 12 and 4s. And Mario, get out of the sun comments. <laughs> I know. I just know it. Yeah, let me know what your... Uh, let us know what your prediction is. Did the doctor change your medication? <laughs> you got to give it to me first. <laughs> is Jameson a medication? He's got a... <laughs> <laughs>